Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Virtual Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create that glowing eyes effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now I have a footage of a woman here with eyes open and we're going to make her eyes glow. So for that I'm just going to duplicate here that clip. So I'm going to hold Option or Alt uh, if you're on Windows and then just drag that up to duplicate the footage. Then I'm just going to hit D on my keyboard to disable the clip that is beneath it. And then I'm going to go over to the color page. In the color page, I'm going to right click on the working node area and I'm going to select add alpha output. Here it brings the alpha output. I'm going to link the output of that node to the alpha output right there. Now I'm going to zoom in my footage to really focus on the eyes and be able to pick them properly. We're going to select the picker right there. And here I'm going to make a selection on a blue eye. Now, as you can see, it has selected also a bunch of other color all around. So we're going to have to create a mask and track that mask. So it's affect only the eyes. So I'm going to do a power window right there. Click on circular window and then I'm just going to refine that to mask only the eyes. So here we're going to reduce it and I'm going to bring that on the eyes, reduce it a little bit more, adjust the angle. And that's it. Now we have the mask affecting only the eyes. Now we need to track that. So I'm going to go over to the tracker and here we're just going to track moving forward. And then we're going to track moving backward. Perfect, everything should be fine. Please note that this effect will usually work better with color highs because we need to select uh, the color of the eyes. If you're working with brown eyes, you will have to make individual mask for each eyes. All right, so now let's go back to the edit page. So now as you can see, we have our eye selection. I'm just gonna select those eyes again and create a new compound clip. And now we're gonna go over to Fusion. So now we're gonna bring three node in. So I'm gonna select the media in, it shifts space on my keyboard to open the select tool window. And we're gonna search for soft glow, bring it in. Now we're gonna do shift space again, and we're gonna search for light ray. And we're gonna bring light ray here in all nodes. And the last one, I'm gonna hit shift space once more, and we're gonna search for color to bring a color corrector here in the node area. Let's zoom in quite a little bit so we can see properly our eyes and all the glow is affecting it. So here I'm gonna increase the gain and I'm gonna reduce the glow size a little bit. Now here we can make some adjustment to the light ray. We could even keyframe the light ray if we have a camera movement that will justify that. So here we could keyframe the position depending if we have a panning on our subject. Right now I'm gonna extend a little bit the length of those ray, or you could reduce it. Right now I'm gonna extend it a fair bit. Let's unzoom so we can see how it affects the overall piece of footage. I think it's fine like this. And lastly here you could change completely the color by going for something green, red, etc. and really create a different look. Right now I'm just gonna leave it blue and now let's go back to the edit page. We're gonna enable the piece of footage that we disabled earlier. So we're gonna select it and hit D on our keyboard. And now it's played. Perfect. It looks quite nice, I think. Uh, we could continue to make some adjustments to really uh, get the look that we'd like. Here, for example, I could bring a new uh, glow, not a soft glow, a glow node that will make the overall thing uh, feel a bit more intense. I could increase the glow, which will basically here uh, enhance the light ray. And let's make a quick keyframe on the position of the light ray. So here I'm going to select the light ray, go down to zero, and here position, I'm going to drop a keyframe move a couple of frames forward and then I'm going to just move the position and adjust it from uh, left to right. Now if we play it, as you can see, the position of the light ray is moving, which will imply that the light source will move as well. So that's the kind of animation that you need to do in consideration of your camera movement. Now let's play it and see where it looks. All right, good. I'm happy with that. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.